you're 250 nautical miles off the coast of Mexico. To your right is the remote island of San Benedicto, and it's an oasis for life in the middle of the deep Pacific Ocean. Your guide under the waves is marine biologist and cameraman Eric Iguera. Take a deep breath. Are you ready? I'm Eric, that's Jeff, and we are your dive buddies. Are you okay? Take a look around. This place is known as a boiler. Let's go down and check it out. We are descending to 10 meters below the surface. We are next to a cleaning station for some gentle giants. If you look into the blue, you'll see one gliding towards you. Wow! Do you see that? It's an oceanic manta ray. They are the largest rays in our oceans. Mantas are taught to live up to 50 years, maybe more. I have the biggest brains of any fish. Hey, look, there is a manta on your left. Two mantas now. You see them? They are interacting with each other. They are very curious and intrigued by visiting divers. I think they like the bubbles from our tanks. Get ready. There he comes. Wow. It's gliding beneath your feet. Look at this one. It's gonna stop to your glid. Do you see that orange fish? That's a Clayton angelfish. It's attracted because he cleans the parasites of the manta ray skin. Wasn't he cool? I recognize that manta ray because the unique pattern on the belly. Do you see those two black spots? Those are unique, like our fingerprints. Oh, turn around, turn around. There is the other one. Wow, oh, check that out, it's over your head. I think the bubbles from our tanks feel like a sort of jacuzzi. Who doesn't like to be in a bubble bath? And mantas aren't the only curious animals we see here. On the other side of the rock, and deeper down, another curious animal. I think I can hear them. Can you? It's bottlenose dolphins. There are two dolphins coming towards us. These two dolphins are part of a resident pod. And over the years, as divers have been visiting Reviajigedo National Park, they seem to have become more and more curious. Like us, dolphins live in family groups. And as you can hear, they communicate through sounds. That one is looking right at you. They live for 30 to 50 years out here in the ocean and survive by hunting fish, squid, and crustaceans. And are known to work together as a pod to catch their dinner. Oh, look over there. There are more dolphins coming. I think that's the rest of the family. After they hunt in the mornings, I've also seen them being cleaned by the Clayton angelfish, just like the mantas. I've been studying the fascinating species that live in these waters for over a decade. Previa Gelo is a perfect example of what a healthy ocean looks like. 
as well as the dolphins and mantas, we get humpback whales, turtles, yellowfin tunas, whale sharks, hammerhead, and other shark species. In 2017, 14.8 million hectares of ocean were protected here, an area larger than the state of New York. I hope to see more marine protected areas in the future. And through my work, I hope to help the conservation of the oceans.